Is lab-grown meat the future for meat lovers? While there has been a rise in plant-based alternatives on supermarket shelves, they might not hit the spot for people looking to reduce their carbon footprint. Enter lab-grown meat. The meat is grown in labs from sample cells from an actual animal who will still be merrily frolicking in a field while you enjoy your bacon butty. The cells are then grown from a process called cultivation using synthetic biology to make it as close to the real thing as possible. But why would we need lab-grown meat? Well, the whole process of beef production is reported to have a huge impact on the environment. Between 7% and 18% of the methane emissions from human-related activities worldwide come from cattle. Growing meat could also limit the scale of animals raised in factory farms. It also makes sense to invest after companies like Beyond Meat reported an increased sales of 45% in 2020. However, lab-grown alternatives are far from being ready to buy at a supermarket. Fetal bovine serum, aka calf blood, is commonly used to keep the animal cells alive. The serum has to be collected from unborn calves when their mothers are killed in slaughterhouses, which isn't the nicest thought. This is where a problem emerges. Trying to create a more cruelty-free alternative in lab-grown meat doesn't always mean animals don't suffer in the process. Alternatives are fast approaching though as research teams test out using magnetic pulses to keep cells growing and the sustainability of lab-grown meat produced on a large scale is also currently unknown. However, growing meat could increase access to food, which as a result could potentially reduce world hunger. Our own health could also benefit from eating lab-grown meat instead. Eating processed meats can increase your risk of bowel and stomach cancer. Red meat has been classified as a group 2A carcinogenin by health experts, a grouping that basically means it probably causes cancer. So would you switch to a lab-grown burger knowing the animals inside were still alive and well?